Hi choir, my name is Jonathan. Um, thank you guys so much for singing my song and a big thanks to your director, Mr. Jack Senzig. He's awesome uh, for putting this on and getting uh, composers the opportunity to have their pieces sung by, by his choir. Um, it's very cool. Uh, I'm sitting here in uh, my little house in Los Angeles and I'm sitting next to my wife. This is Eva. Uh, Eva is an elementary school teacher, so uh, she loves working with kids as well. Um, so I have some questions here uh, that you guys posted on the Facebook page. Um, well, the first one I heard was, how old are you? I am 32 years old. Um, I grew up here in Los Angeles, and then I went to college in Chicago, and I've been doing music my whole life. My parents are both singers. Um, so yeah, music has been a big part of my life, but I didn't always want to be a musician. Um, I wanted to be a baseball player at a certain point, and then I wanted to be, um, a psychologist at another point, and, but, uh, yeah, so I've been doing music for quite a long time, and, um, really love it. Um, let's see, next question, how did you come up with the ideas for the words? That's a very interesting question. Um, because it's really hard to say where ideas come from. Um, it's almost like they just pop into your brain sometimes. Um, but the full answer to that would be that you have to feed your brain with all kinds of things like school, um, like other music, like books, like movies, like ideas. Uh, that other people share with you. And I find that when I try to come up with ideas, it usually doesn't work. Most of the time I have to just sit in silence and my brain tends to just make connections and... Um, wonder if something um, interesting might work, like the idea to maybe use English and Arabic in the same song. And from there, out of that curiosity, I try experimenting with it and see if something interesting comes. So that's usually where ideas come from. It's kind of hard to make them happen, but I find that if you make space for them to happen and you're feeding your brain with a lot of good and interesting things, that ideas will come. Um, does the song get harder as it gets longer? Um, I find that it does get harder. Um, sometimes the idea for a song comes uh, and it's very easy to start. And then once I start experimenting or seeing if it's going to work really well, I run into problems or obstacles or challenges that are really difficult to figure out. So, um, and then sometimes when one of those problems gets figured out, it's really easy for a little while, but then something else comes up and it's really hard. So, um, there's no real clear answer to that question. Sometimes things are really easy and sometimes they're really hard, but the hard parts of songwriting or composing are just as valid as the easy parts. Um, so, yeah, that's an up and down kind of mountains and valleys kind of a process. Uh, the last question here that I uh, heard on the Facebook page was, how much feeling do you have to put into a song to make it a good song? That's another really interesting question. Um, usually, an idea that comes that I like I like it because it has an emotional quality to it, because it means something really significant. So, um, like with this piece that you guys sang of mine, um, it uh, the idea of saying something beautiful in English and in Arabic. Um, uh, was very emotional for me because it uh, makes me think about people from different cultures learning to understand each other and appreciate each other through language, through understanding each other's language. Um, so I felt very deeply about that, but 
the other side of that coin is that a song or a piece of music requires just as much hard work as it does emotion and feeling. Um, you can't really have one without the other. Or if you do, you will either have, you'll either get tired of writing and you'll give up if the feelings go away, or if there's no, no feelings there and it's all work and uh, it, might, it might not be very impactful. Um, so you really need a lot of both. Anyway, thanks guys for your questions. They're really great, and I hope uh, I hope it was somewhat interesting. And keep doing what you guys are doing. Um, keep working hard and have a lot of fun. Thanks guys. Take care and have a great summer. Bye.